So today I'm in the very early stages of our shiny new standard where I'm once again going to combo win in one swing, this time with one very large unblockable creature. Hey everyone, Hex here, and today after a small break, I'm thrilled to be back in the very early moments of our new set release to bring you some combo fun from the untamed landscape of Murders at Karlov Manor. We've got a plethora of new cards at our disposal, and today I'm itching to unveil how a couple of them breathe life into an old favorite combo of mine. So let's dive into the new cards I'm building this deck around, and the first one is Delny Streetwise Lookout. This little gem is primed to shine in decks featuring low to the ground creatures, as it's a 2-2 human scout that says creatures with power 2 or less can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. Also, if an ability of a creature with power 2 or less triggers, it triggers an additional time. It's like a quirky cousin to our beloved Roaming Throne. Now here's where the magic really happens. Because pair Delny with a valet and some resolute reinforcements, then you've got yourself a recipe for mayhem. Imagine your valet skyrocketing to over 30 power, becoming an unstoppable force thanks to those additional triggers. And with the reinforcements having flash, you can surprise your opponent's post blocks and unleash chaos with a monster unblockable devil. Delny works great with Brutal Cathar too, to double its triggers, and I've got Return Triumphant to bring back all our dead creatures for just the two mana. Other new cards include Assemble the Players, another card that is surely gonna see a lot of play. It's a two mana enchantment that allows you to look at the top of your library whenever you wish, and once per turn, cast a creature from the top if its power is two or less. I'm trying to make your move, a slightly pricey three mana instant to deal with artifacts, enchantments, or four power plus creatures, and we have the triumphant return of Lightning Helix. For just two Boris mana, you can do three damage and gain three life. It is unbelievably good in the meta that I face today. I've got Skrelv and Lauren's Escape for much needed protection and some play with fires to deal with those pesky bats. With 25 lands, including our new Surveil land in Elegant Parlor, which I'm not always a fan of tap lands, but we have ways to recur from the graveyard, so I think it's a pretty decent addition here. We've also got Restless Bivouac, which can be a 2-2 Ox, but when it attacks, as long as you don't put the counters on itself, Delny can trigger the Ox an additional time if needed to give an extra counter to another creature of yours. There are plenty of other cards you can use or try out as we seem to have so many sets available in Standard. And as I mentioned, this is the first few minutes of the race, so not entirely optimized, but I really wanted to show you a combo using some new cards and I can't wait to play with Delny much more as I think it's really good. But enough from me, I wanna hear your thoughts, your ideas and your wildest combos inspired by Murders at Karloff Manor. Jot them in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and spread the word to your friends. Your support means the world to this channel and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, on the draw, and this hand looks pretty nice. We have our Downies, and we do have a Brutal Cathar, which will trigger twice if Downies on the battlefield. So we'll see how this one goes. So this is the very first few moments of the set being released on Arena. I'm super excited to play with some new cards in Standard. I feel like it's been a while. But we'll drop Delny here. Uh, opponent looks like they are on Azorius. And fingers crossed Delny survives. We do have a Lauren's Escape next turn if we need to give our creature Hexproof. Okay, well they just play land and say go. So we will kind of do the same. Not going to attack into open mana like this. I suspect a Wandering Emperor and I kind of don't want that on the battlefield. Even though we could give our creature Hexproof, I still don't want that Planeswalker. But they just use their Field of Ruin anyway. And uh, sure. Don't really care about that. I'm not sure why they didn't take our Bivouac. But if we're playing up against control, I don't actually mind that. This opponent with Jace. So we can, I guess they're going to target our Delny. No, they don't. They make us mill 15 cards. Okay. All right. So I wonder if they're just a mill deck. I say just a mill deck. Hey, there's Return Triumphant, which is fantastic in the face of a mill deck, as that gets us to bring a creature back to the battlefield. Fortunately, it's a sorcery. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go for our 
copy of Devilish Valet here. Fortunately, if we had a Resolute Reinforcement in our hand, we would have had a lethal, but we don't. I guess even if we'd had a Valet in our hand as well, we would have had lethal. So I'm just going to play the Triumphant here. It brings the Valet onto the battlefield, and uh, we'll say go. Put it with uh, Depopulate, sure. Well, we'll keep one of our creatures safe here. I think we'll... Yeah, we'll keep our valet safe. We have the other Lauren's Escape, but we have another Delny in our hand. And to be honest, there's another one on top of our deck as well. So we'll put that one to the bottom. And I don't care if our 2-2 dies now. We have another one. So it was still just eight resolute reinforcements away from winning. Assemble the players. Okay, another new card for us. It's an enchantment that lets you look at the top of your library at any time, and once per turn, you get to cast a creature from the top of your library if its power is two or less. So in this case, we'll probably be looking for Resolute Reinforcements. It has Flash, which means we can always cast it on our opponent's turn, that one. But opponent's not doing anything, and I'm fine to not do anything ourselves. So we kind of hit a slight stalemate, but opponent is deciding to blow up our bivouac in our upkeep. Okay, well, I guess that's fine, isn't it? It's not a card that I'm that bothered about. It's our kind of plan C in our deck. And that is a bivouac on top. And we now have a resolute reinforcements on top here. So I think this is gonna be lethal here. We'll play Delny, that will double the valet twice. It goes up to four, so it is actually blockable now if they had a creature on the battlefield so you do have to be slightly wary of that but yeah this should be lethal as long as they can't counter our valet here we'll drop the re reinforcements and this will trigger an additional time itself it will trigger the valet to go up to a 44 creature and yeah they've lost out of nowhere there all right on the play hand looks reasonable we'll keep this one see how we get on here so i'm eager to hear if you have any combos or interesting deck ideas from the new set um i think there's a there's a lot of sets to pick from at the moment in standard and i'm sure things are going to start coming out of the woodwork i've played against skeletons a couple of times this morning it looks kind of fun so i'm eager to sort of have a look at the skeleton deck see if it's actually any good kind of a janky tribe that I like. But opponent here did name Dinosaur and they did deal with our Delny with an Abraid. And they haven't actually played a Dinosaur themselves. So we'll bring Delny back. We have our Lauren's Escape if we need to save it. But not really worrying too much about this at the moment. We have our Brutal Cathar which will double with the Delny on the battlefield. We have our Lauren's Escape. And uh, Mate Your Move can take care of one of these massive dinosaurs. They do play Hulking Raptor, which is a target for Mate Your Move. But I guess we... I guess we've just got a free attack here with Delny. And then we'll do the Make Your Move to get rid of the Raptor. Uh, I don't really want to play Brutal Cathar just now. Oh, well, that was something that I uh, totally forgot about. Return Triumphant actually puts a aura onto our creature here. Which means Delny is blockable. Luckily, we have Lauren's Escape. But yeah, um, it's a 4-4. <laughs> I thought he was going to be attacking as a 2-2. But anyhow... We do see that there is a valet on top of our deck as we did get to scry it there. So I'm pretty sure we got lethal. They have a cavern of souls with basically colorless mana and that we can just play our valet here. Then play resolute reinforcements to do a load of trigger doubling or tr extra triggering, tr triggering here to put our valet up to a 32-3 and uh, hit our opponent. But yeah, I learned something there about return triumphant. All right, on the play, Delny, assemble the players, Lightning Helix, all new cards. If you can say that about Lightning Helix, I do love this card. I think white, red, 
Um, burn does look like it's going to be on the table a little bit, especially as we have a whole host of sets to pick our burn spells from, depending on what the meta is going to be like. This opponent, though, is played a Wiergeist and a Tenacious Underdog, so it looks like they are some kind of graveyard deck. I'm fine with that. So I'm a fan of using cards like Lightning Helix on your turn if you're worried that the opponent has shenanigans going on with Hexproof or things to bring your creatures immediately back to the, the battlefield. But I am... Actually, I'm going to let them, let this go in, just in case they play like a Glisser or something. The great thing about Lightning Helix is you can be a little bit patient with the card as you do gain three life back. So I'm still going to take care of the Willow Geist, I think. I don't want them to gain too much life. But we'll uh, let it go to end step first. Assemble the players is... Gonna hit the Exile Zone with Terra Sunder. But we can see Lawrence escapes on top. And I'm fine if they want to exile that and not one of our creatures. But let's get Delny down. Fingers crossed this survives. Probably not against a black deck. There is a lot of removal at the minute. But we'll take four damage here. Because a Brutal Cathar can nab both their creatures this turn. And land is great because that also leaves Lauren's escape open to give our creature hexproof if needed. But yeah, Brudukthar and Delny is a nice little combo here. So I'm guessing Delny here is going to be really good in humans. Maybe soldiers. Uh, opponent with uh, beside you here for our bivouac. Sure. Just a green land open for them. So it don't need to tap it for mana first. If they'd left it open, maybe a black land or something. I would have been worried about a cut down. But opponent here is... They really need to play a spell though, because this Brutal Cathar is going to transform if they don't. Is Restless Cottage going to attack us here as a 4-4? Four four? Well, we can deal with that next turn if they want to do the same the same turn with uh, Make Your Move. But yeah, this is fine. Are we just racing here with these kind of creatures on the battlefield? We do have a Moonrage Brute here, so five power here to attack our opponent. I guess we just leave Make Your Move. Hopefully they just come at us with their Restless Cottage here. And we can always Resolute Reinforcements as well. Although I really am trying to save that card to deal with to go with a valet. We would get an extra creature onto the battlefield. Opponent with Nyssa. Okay, they're just gonna make a token, which is a 4-4. Well, we can just deal with that now. And I'm gonna just hope. I've had a feeling I was gonna draw the valet there. Could have played the reinforcements to take care of Nyssa and do some damage to our opponent. I think we're kind of in the um, boss seat here though so I'm just going to attack down Nissa, and I am going to hopefully win next turn we have a creature land available so probably going to flash out the reinforcements depending on what our opponent does but was trying to find a way to combo with the valet here and maybe it just needed to go the old-fashioned route of a brute force attack opponent with insidious roots a new card and they play a second creature in the Dread Knight. Well, I'm sorry, opponent, but that is going to transform our Cathar. I guess it takes one power off the battlefield, but it gets rid of their blocker and play with fire. I believe this could be lethal. We animate our Bivouac. We attack our opponent. Bivouac triggers, and it's going to trigger twice. So this is eight damage on the board. Opponent goes down to two and play with fire just counting the mana making sure that they can't activate the food in response but that should be lethal and that is a decent uh, win there against a uh, green black deck all right on the draw a few valets reinforcements cathar come on this has got to be one of our better hands we even get our tap land out of the way on turn one with elegant parlor 
opponent with a Ores of Land. Did find a bivouac, another tap land. So there's some really good lands in multicolored decks at the minute. But a few of them come in tapped. As long as you get them early on, it should be alright. Opponent with a Slaughter Specialist. Not a card you see often, so presumably the opponent is up to some shenanigans themselves. Certainly you don't want to sort of kill my 1-1 here. I don't want this specialist to be a 4-4, so we'll just take the damage there. A lightning helix, eh? Okay. Well, I'm going to block with the 1-1. So we might as well attack. I don't want to kind of helix the 3-3, I don't think, until... Because if they killed my 1-1 in response, the Slaughter Specialist would become a 4-4. So yeah, let's just hold back. Let's hold back. Let's be patient. We'll take 3 damage. We'll let the opponent hopefully play another uh, creature. Midnight Assassin. And then we'll Lightning Helix here. So we took 3 damage, but we gained 3 life back anyway with that card. And we find a Make Your Move. Okay. Fortunately, no Lauren's Escape here, but we have 2 Valets. So I guess we'll play one of the ballets here. No attacks. See if the opponent wants to remove this. Not the end of the world as we have a return triumph in our hand. So we'll see where this one goes. We really need our 2-2 onto the battlefield here. And it's Massacre Girl, Known Killer. One of the new cards from Karlov Manor. I will pop it up on the screen if I remember. Gives all creatures wither. Which isn't that effective, I don't think, in this situation. Because we can just get that off the battlefield of our Cathar. Now, if they want to kill Cathar, then leaving our Valet alone, which is great. We can always bring bring it back with uh, Return Triumphant. And we have another Valet anyway. If they want to attack, go for that. And it is Under City Eliminator. When it ETBs, sacrifice a creature when you do exile target creature on opponent control. All right. So they're going after our Brutal Cathar. Fair enough. They leave our Valet alone. We find a Plains. So we're not that far away from a combo win here. Just need a Delny. I think I'm going to um, take care of Massacre Girl now. I don't really want to wait until their turn. They might find a way to be able to interact with their creature and keep it alive. So, opponent is getting there with their 3-3. Fair enough. Well, I'm not going to block this. You can see with the Lightning Helix that we had earlier, our life total is still 13. Invasion. Okay, so they may sacrifice an artifact creature to exile an artifact creature that we control. They have decided to do that. Okay. All right. And Rafine's Silencer. Okay. So they look like they're some kind of sacrifice aristocrat deck here. And there's Delny. So we have all the tools in our hand. I'm going to go for the Valet. Just in case they are playing something like Cut Down. We can keep it alive with Resolute Reinforcements. Another little combo here is playing Resolute Reinforcements, blocking with the actual Soldier token, or the Soldier, and then using Return Triumphant to bring it back next turn. See what they want to do though. They do have a card in hand. Well, they're attacking their battle, so I'll let that one go. It is Beseech the Mirror, okay. So this is not for the bargain cost, so they need to find a two-mana spell. Hopefully it's just something like a go for the throat onto our valet. We can bring it back with the Triumphant. It is Invasion of Nuka Penner again, okay, fair enough. They are sacrificing their Silencer here to deal or to exile our creature. Presumably, they are exiling the Valet, killing the 1-1. One, one. Okay. Fair enough. 
And we draw another Delny. Okay. Had we played Delny the turn before instead of the Valet, I think we would be looking at maybe finding a way to combo here, but we might have to just win the old fashioned way here. Opponent is top decking. Malicious Eclipse. All creatures get minus two, minus two. And they exile. What a top deck for them there. There's a Lightning Helix for us. All right, well, they are cardless, so let's go for the creature land here. I am fed up here. They seem to be top decking or drawing removal spells out of their ears. Their deck seems packed of them, so let's just get in there with our bivouac while we can. And they are just passing the turn, okay. All right, well, we're just gonna go again. It is getting an extra counter each turn here. Opponent down to 11, so two more of these hits and they're gonna die. Let's drop Downy here to speed this along a little bit. And we also have the Lightning Helix, which is a little bit of burn, so I kinda like where we are. Put it with a Slaughter Specialist, gives us a creature there. And what's cool is both our creatures are actually unblockable because of the Downy. So they do have one more card in hand. It is another invasion of New Capenna. Wow. Okay. They get to deal with our Delny here. He's going to assemble the players. All right, well, we're going to attack again. We're going to, this time, put the counter on the 1-1. One, one. Now, put the opponent down to 5. So, not quite dead. But we should have lethal next turn. Going to just play assemble the players to... And that was some extra card advantage for next turn. And there's a Brutal Cathar on top, so any creature they play is going to die anyway. So, yeah, we got there eventually. We got there eventually. 